to the king! What is up YouTube? It's your boy God King Futz and in today's video we'll be going over how to collect all the skulls in Halo Infinite's campaign, earning you the achievements Headstrong and Catacomb worth 10 and 20 gamer score respectively. Unlocking all the skulls also gives you the ability to do a lasso run, legendary all skulls on. Stay tuned for a new video on that one. But for this video here I'd recommend watching it from start to finish before heading out to collect the skulls, as some of the skulls are level specific and in Halo Infinite you can not restart a specific level you would have to restart the entire game in order to collect the skulls some other skulls also require a flying vehicle so i've tried to organize the video based on the order in which the skulls will become available to you if that kind of makes sense check the timestamps if you're looking for one in particular but without further ado guys let's get you some halo infinite skulls so to start us off the boom skull is located on mission one warship bracken this skull doubles the radius of explosions, and relatively early on in the level, you'll be coming down this hallway with four jackals waiting for you around this pillar here. Take out the jackals and move on to this room. Notice the kinetic ammo crate to the left of the door entrance, but once inside, you'll run into a handful of banished, and you know what to do with the banished. You'll know you're in the right place when you see these crates moving up the wall on the right side of the room. Once you've cleared out the entire room, you'll want to make your way to the second level along the right hand side wall, and look for the second moving crate along the wall and hop on it to elevate yourself to the boom skull. If you're having troubles figuring out which crate actually has the boom skull above it, just tap your AI scan button and it'll actually highlight the skull through the wall, making it a lot easier to find. But honestly it shouldn't be that difficult to find, the boom skull is tucked away right here. Next up we have skull number 2, the Cowbell Skull. This is going to be on the next campaign mission, Foundation. And this skull increases the physics effects of explosions, which we're going to use in our lasso run, so stay tuned for that one. Make your way through the level until you get to the elevator, with Halsey and Cortana sounding off in the background. Make your way into the next room with these giant pillars and clear the room of all the banished. Then head back to the doorway you came in from. The skull will be located above the first pillar that you see along the left side of the wall when you first enter the room. Use your grapple hook to get up into the gap of this pillar right here, then just follow what I do on screen to grapple up to where the actual skull is. So for now, these are the only two level specific skulls you won't be able to acquire in Halo Infinite's open world, until you get to mission number 11, the Command Spire, which starts a string of missions that won't allow you back into Halo Infinite's open world until they're all complete. That being said, I highly recommend you take this time to unlock all the forward operating bases for easy fast travel and maybe even playing through the campaign and collecting the last skulls before moving on to the open world skulls. That way, you'll have your hands on the wasp. You'll want to upgrade your grapple shot to reduce the cooldown effect by 40%. This will take 3 Spartan cores and will make your life a million times easier. Especially if you don't yet have the wasp unlocked. For now, we'll go over all the skulls available in Zeta Halo's open world. So first up for the open world skulls, we have the I would have been your daddy skull, which is by far my favorite skull in the Halo franchise. This skull unlocks unique dialogue, making funny and rare voice lines from NPCs much more common. Who's Craig now? This skull is by far the easiest skull to find in Halo Infinite, but that's a really, really good thing considering it was the hardest skull to find in most of the other Halo games in the series. Some of you may have already even found it naturally during your first playthrough if you spent a little bit of time exploring, but if not, no worries, just head to the tower north of FOB Foxtrot on the western edge of the map. The skull is located top mid of the tower, so fly up if you've got a wasp or a banshee or grapple your way up the side as I'm doing here if you haven't got that far into the valor system. Some of these skulls are so easy to find that I'm actually finding it hard to come up with commentary to keep the videos exciting guys, so please, you know, if there's any gaps, forgive me and enjoy the gameplay. Once you've collected the skull, be sure to make your way down using the giant banished slip and slide for bonus points. You know, cause taking the stairs is obviously for plebs. But anyway, the next skull you'll want to collect is going to be the blind skull, which turns off all HUD and weapons, and is located in the southwestern part of the map. The skull will be located just inside the crevice running down this mountain here. If you've already made your way through the campaign and accumulated enough valor, hop in the wasp and you can quite literally fly right here to collect the skull. Just look for the rock cleavage connecting the two mountains and the skull is just underneath it. This is where things start to get a little tougher if you don't have a flying vehicle, so like I said, get your hands on a wasp. 
For the rest of you, you'll want to come to the north side of the mountain and make your way to the base of the mountain right here, and approach the edge close to where the rocks connect to the mountains. Just north of these rocks, you'll see one of the hex pillars providing a platform to jump to. Hop down there and look over the edge once again, you'll see another little platform on top of one of the hex pillars. Use the grapple shot to make sure you don't fall right off the edge. Head over to the skull and hold that X button to pick it up and boom, you've got your hands on the blind skull and one step closer to getting that lasso run. Once you've collected the skull, you can use the grapple shot on the rocks to make your way out of the canyon and follow these makeshift steps back to the surface. I say use the rocks because there seems to be some kind of mechanic that prevents you from grappling onto the sides of hex pillars occasionally. I don't really understand it, but you're safer just to use the rocks. Alternatively, you can fast travel to circumvent all this BS anyway. Next up, we've got the Fog Skull, which turns off your radar and your motion tracker. You'll want to make your way to the western edge of the map, just west of FOB Alpha, and just south of this mountain right here. Head over to where the pillars form these artificial stalactites, and in between the largest one and the side of the mountain, you'll notice a rather large opening. At the top of this opening is a small gap in the hex pillars where you'll find the Fog Skull. But for those of you without fancy flying vehicles to make your life easy, head to this platform right here. This is easily accessible on foot from the base of the south side of the mountain. This will definitely be one of the moments where having the upgraded grapple shot for the 40% cooldown will make your life much, much easier. Grapple right up to the gap in the hex pillars like this and collect the fog skull. For those of you who haven't upgraded your grapple hook, there are a series of platforms wrapping counterclockwise around the stalactite right in the center that kind of looks like a fancy chandelier. Look for the rock formation at the top of the chandelier, and right across from that rock formation is going to be the Fog Skull. Next up, we have the Black Eye Skull, which, when turned on, requires you to melee an opponent in order for your shields to begin recharging, and it will be located close to the center of the bottom edge of the map. Your best bet is to head to FOB Juliet and make your way down to the base of the waterfall. Near the base of the west side of the mountain, you'll notice a swampy area with that waterfall, and if you've ever played a video game in your life, you know where this is going. Approach the waterfall and about halfway up and slightly on the right side, you'll notice a gap in the waterfall, and if you see a small dark spot, that is the entrance to the cave. Grapple shot your way up, and inside you'll find the Black Eye Skull. So next up we have the Thunderstorm Skull, which increases the rank of enemy units. This one will be located at the Crow's Nest on the southeastern part of the island where you destroy the AA turrets. Head up to the top to see a dead marine who has clearly been busy finishing the fight. Follow the trail of dead bodies that this chad left behind, and this hex pillar sticking out of the bottom of the ring right here is where you're going to find your skull. Obviously you could fly here, but the jump is way more entertaining, so Assassin's Creed your way right off the side of the cliff, land on the hex pillar, collect the thunderstorm skull, get one step closer to your lasso run, then drop an F in the chat for the chad in the crow's nest. Next up we have the famine skull, which halves the amount of ammunition dropped by NPCs, and is located just north of the command spire on this little island. For this skull, you're going to need yourself a flying vehicle. Either the wasp or a banshee will do. Don't even try to make the jump to this island, I promise you, you won't make it. Fly right up to the top of the island, and on this hex pillar right here is where you're going to find the famine skull. Since you're subscribed to the channel, you're obviously a high IQ individual, and will no doubt pick up on the Shakespeare reference. Next up, we have the Catch Skull, which causes enemies to throw and drop more grenades. This skull is located on the northernmost island, tucked away in this little pocket at the base of the mountain, and requires a flying vehicle to get to. You'll know you're in the right place if you see two hunters guarding this little marshy area. Now, if you're on Legendary, it is possible to sneak in through a gap in the mountain from the back of, the, of this little valley here and grab the skull and make a quick getaway, but if you're like me and would prefer to annihilate every single banished enemy that you run into, you might want to bring yourself along a skewer, a handful of grenades, and a needler for good measure. This is also a good time to note that you can actually attach extra weapons to the back of your Razorback, providing some much needed extra ammunition for your firefights. Regardless of how you decide to handle the hunter situation, once the area is clear, head to the giant puddle where you found the hunters before and look towards the base of the mountain to find the catch skull wedged into a tree stump with a whole bunch of other UNSC helmets, just in case, you know, the gore was too much for you. You can't have dead bodies, you, 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 gotta, have, you gotta have helmets. 
Either way, if you're following the video, this concludes our skulls that you can find in the open world of Zeta Halo. But we're not quite done yet, as levels 11, 12, and 15 have more skulls of their own. So, fast forward to mission 11 titled The Command Spire, and this is where you're going to find the Mythic Skull, which increases enemy health. Now, keep in mind that launching this mission will put you into a string of missions that will prevent you from exploring the open world with Zeta Halo until the end of the campaign. So, depending on your level of valor and whether or not you've unlocked the Wasp, it might be a smart idea to finish these campaign missions and collect these three skulls before looping back and getting the Catch and Famine Skull, which both require a flying vehicle. So, for the Command Spire mission, eventually you'll get to an elevator, and in the following room, these giant hex pillars are being inscribed with classic foreigner line details. Clean out the banished and follow the pillar by sticking to the leftmost wall from the first room through to the last room where it turns once again. You'll want to grapple hook onto the hex pillar, then use your height to grapple up to this space above the pillar where the mythic skull is waiting for you. Once you get up here, you'll notice a platform on the walls of each side of the room, one with a door. Behind that door is going to be the Mythic Skull. Next up is my second favorite skull of all time, the Grunt Birthday Party Skull, which causes Grunt's head to explode in a flurry of confetti to the tune of a group of kids yelling out with joy. If you're a fan of the channel, you might be familiar with the sound. This is easily the most involved skull in Halo Infinite, but all things considered pretty straightforward. Eventually, you'll get to this room here with a light bridge connecting to a platform in the center of the room. Three locked doors on each wall of the room, obviously excluding the one you just came from. If you don't immediately recognize the room when you get in, it's probably because your version of the room looks and sounds a little bit more like this. So, clear out the room and approach the terminal to trigger a cutscene. After the cutscene, delete a couple of banished, and you'll notice that the doors are now unlocked. While the bridge to the door in front of you does look tempting and continues the mission, it's the other two doors that we're going to be concerned about. More specifically, we'll be going for the room with the door on the right. Grapple over to the right-sided platform here and head through the door to find yourself a power seed. Logically, we're going to take this power seed and head over to the door on the opposite side of the room. Grapple your way to the other side of the room, head through the door, and in the back right corner of the room, you'll find a place to put that power seed, and step one is done. Continue on through the level as normal until you come across a room that looks like this, with two struts in the middle and two sentinel spawners on each side. Once you enter the room, two sentinels will spawn, and when you're done with them, head to the top of the room above the struts, and you'll notice that the gap in the wall, which normally has glass, doesn't have any glass on it, thanks to our fancy power seed. As you might expect, the skull will be waiting for you in that room, but beware, as the skull is guarded by four sword-wielding camouflage elites who will absolutely ruin your day if you're not paying attention. So, after inevitably getting your ass handed to you, hop back up with a vengeance and claim your skull. N no seriously, fuck these guys up. Like, kill them over and over and over again, then teabag their dead bodies. If, if they don't kill you, do it for your boy Futz. I, I hate these fucking elites. So last, but certainly not least, the bandana skull is found on mission 15, the Silent Auditorium, which gives the player unlimited ammo and grenades and removes equipment cooldown. In case you were thinking that the lasso for Halo Infinite is going to be hard, they threw this bandana skull in there. The skull itself is relatively easy to acquire, you just need to avoid killing sentinels until you reach the area where the skull spawns. There's only one room before the skull spawns that any sentinels are, so my recommendation is to scoot past all the enemies and avoid being tied down. If you're playing on a harder difficulty, you may have to take out the enemies while being careful to avoid destroying any sentinels. Continue the mission as usual until you reach this room right here, where you'll need to extend a bridge to continue. If you killed any of the sentinels, the door in front of you will be locked, but if you manage to spare all of them, then it'll be open and you can head right through. Head through the doors to collect your final skull and the catacomb achievement, getting you ready for your very own legendary all skulls on run. <laughs> And essentially, that is that, guys. Drop a like if you liked what I did today. Oh, I know what the ladies like. And leave a comment to let me know what your favorite skull to use is. Mine is definitely the I would have been your daddy skull. It's an absolute classic from the old Sergeant Johnson line. Especially since the grunt lines in Halo Infinite are already insanely hilarious, and this just adds more comedic gold to the mix. Beyond that, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel for a lasso guide in the future and more kick-ass content to come.
And guys, I think that pretty much hits all my bases. So don't forget to have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Don't forget to have a good holiday, okay? I hope you guys had a good Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever the situation is, whatever you're celebrating with your family during the winter months. I hope you had a good time. I hope you got to eat some good food and relax with the people that you guys love. And with that being said, don't forget to stay classy, YouTube.